Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing well. I want to show you what I'm on this week. I am juicing. <laughs> I'm uh, juicing plums and nectarines and I'm outside in nature. Definitely just enjoying the warmth, enjoying the weather, enjoying the sunlight, making sure that my melanin stays charged because I'm a beautiful goddess, melanated light being as you all are as well. But uh, just wanted to show you guys um, kind of what I am looking forward to this week, which is definitely going to be this plum juice and nectarine juice. I just uh, wash them inside of the house, clean them up really good. Now I'm just getting out the seeds. Um... But yeah, basically, why am I juicing them? I know that I can just eat the fruit itself, eat the flesh, and get all the fiber. Um, but I also want to make sure that I'm staying hydrated. So during the day, if I would like to drink something, then this is definitely a great choice to drink instead of going to the store and buying just juices in the packages or conventional um, items. Let's say you stop at gas station something like that this is definitely a healthy option because there's only one ingredient there's absolutely no citric acid um none of that vitamin c kind of preservatives just nothing that will hinder your well-being over time um i see the camera shaking sorry about that actually my uh my beautiful goddess amazing friend named ocean taught me something i realized i just said sorry which is short for i'm sorry and uh she educated me on something she said no you're not sorry you're beautiful you're powerful you're amazing you're strong so don't ever associate anything that if you're saying i am blank don't ever associate it with anything negative or anything not like the most high so i could say that i apologize so i definitely apologize that the camera is shaking um but i am not sorry i'm beautiful amazing and powerful Ooh, this plum is definitely juicy and for some reason the flesh is not coming off of the seed Oh, I kind of wanted to do a mix. Well, I kind of wanted to do plum juice and nectarine juice separately, but I realized that I'm going so fast right now that I cut up a nectarine in here. So, all right, so now I will be separating out my nectarine juice to my plum juice. I made um, peach juice last week, but when I went to the store to purchase more, they were, mm, they just weren't looking too fresh. They were kind of molding and I did not trust it. So that's why I have nectarine here, which I do enjoy. But yeah, for some reason, it's difficult for me to get the pit out of the nectarine. If you guys have any tips or tricks, please let me know. Um, but yes, I'm out here in nature, connecting back to source, thanking the most high to give me this opportunity to have breath in my life. Grateful for every single thing. But yeah, there's a lot of flesh still on this pit for some reason. So, uh, Maybe I will figure out how to chop up these nectarines a little bit better in the future. I wonder if I cut around the seed as best as I can. Okay, this one's looking a little bit better.
Okay, so with uh, avoiding the conventional items in the store, the beverages, I feel as if good alternatives would be coconut water, fresh if you can, or uh, from those, you know, those cartons, those liter containers and such through the store. Um, I would just say research different brands so that you can see whether they add certain ingredients to the coconut water or you can look at that on the label as well um avoid items and beverages that have a ascorbic acid um in them just because that's not the most natural product that you can consume on a daily basis um so you would like coconut water with just coconut water alone in the ingredients if you would like to avoid coconut water that has been pasteurized, I would recommend that as well. So research the brand and see how they prepare the coconut water for those containers and those little cartons. Um, but I do like fruit juice. You can also find a fruit juice in the store, not from Concentrate, that has not been pasteurized as well. Um, looking like your health aisle in the grocery stores for those options um but you know if you have a juicer and you have an hour of your time perhaps one day a week you can carve aside some time so that you can just chop up fresh fruit and juice it yourself um i got these plums and nectarines from my local farmer's market and uh in total for these two items i paid about maybe eleven dollars i believe um so there is absolutely nothing at all that is not affordable um especially since you know a jug of orange juice from the store that has been pasteurized or perhaps it's from concentrate is already about six dollars so I figure this is going to yield me enough fruit juice for myself to consume and enjoy. And I know exactly what all the ingredients are. I know that it's not pasteurized. I definitely will not be applying any heat to this item, this fresh juice. Um, but yeah, it's uh, hopefully gonna last me a few days. So I'll see how much I yield. But yeah, so as far as amazing fruit juices you can consume on a daily basis, I would definitely say coconut water, fruit juice, um, water is great as well. I personally do enjoy spring water. I know many people stick to the distilled water, so whichever one you prefer um, is definitely amazing. I would definitely stay away from alcoholic beverages stay away from caffeine as much as you can if you do need an energy boost let's say that you do partake in caffeine because you have low energy and you would like an energy boost i would more so recommend sea moss gel or maca root powder that you can put in a fruit smoothie on a daily basis and items of that nature all right but uh my juicer i'll show you guys once i start but i got it from amazon for about a hundred and maybe 150 dollars a couple of years ago in 2020 i want to say and it is um well i'll show you in a minute but there are high-end juicers to where i probably could have just put the whole entire nectarine or peach in the contraption in order to juice it but my juicer i do it is best for me to cut it up into smaller pieces so that i don't ruin the auger parts um, but yeah i just find this so fun i find it relaxing i find it natural as natural as, as i can be i find it healthy and these seeds I'll put in my compost, so I'm giving right back to nature. And I'm just enjoying every single minute of it. 
yes I did just work out <laughs> I actually went to a park and um, I did a 30 minute workout um but I have my Apple watch here and according to my Apple watch I lost about I burned about 300 calories however I feel as if it could be a little bit more just since I was outside and it is definitely um my aunt actually said it's 103 degrees outside so i just feel as far as me sweating and such maybe i burned a little bit more but i also do suggest if you can carve out 20 minutes out of, out of your day to do some exercises it'll definitely pay off in the long run Let's see, today I uh, had about two bottles of spring water. I'm um, not sure if you guys know, but uh, Sam's, Sam's Club has a green juice, an amazing green juice. I think it has the juice of kale, spinach, uh, maybe even barley or alfalfa sprouts something similar to that the brand is called suja i want to say s-u-j-a or s-u-j-o something of the sort and um and it has an amazing green juice and it is ten dollars for i want to say two liters i think that's the size of the container yeah about 60 ounces 62 ounces or so um yeah it's ten dollars so i had some of that green juice um so i've been i've been hydrating myself a lot recently staying as healthy as i can be so i had that today as well and then um sam's also has amazing fruit juice smoothies maybe uh soon i'll be able to show you guys that package so you can see those those come in 10 ounce um bottles and i had a, a few of those today as well oh look at this nectarines chopped up and my plums chopped up so i'm going to get the juicer for you guys to see okay so i'm going to show you guys how i put it together and everything how it looks and I was letting you know what I consumed today. I also had um, a salad, which I actually make every single day for lunch. Um, it has the red leaf lettuce greens, uh, green leaf lettuce, spinach. I also put cucumber, tomato, or bell pepper, just depending on how I'm feeling. I also add in um, banana peppers, olives and avocado so that has been my smoothie every single day consistently uh for the past few weeks so and i've been loving it i love every minute of it and i feel it gives me a boost of energy so that i can stay focused and and great during my day i don't have the afternoon you know where you need a nap <laughs> i avoid that as much as i can yeah, I've plugged it in and I'm just gonna put as much fruit in here as I can and I'll turn it on soon. Center here labeled and I have about 32 ounces of juice I ran it through there twice 
because um, I just feel as if it kind of left a pure gray that had maybe a little bit more juice in it. So I chose to run it through again. And I love this part because uh, with this, with these leftovers here, I'm actually going to put it into my dehydrator and make kind of a fruit roll up thing. So I'm definitely excited, but this juice, I'm so excited to try and drink. So let's see if I can show you guys the juice that this yielded and my work area is a mess now, but I will clean it up. But this is just so beautiful. Ooh, this looks so good. Yes, I'm so excited for this. Alrighty. Now the truth is here. What does it taste like? Let's see. Mmm. Mmm, this tastes so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That tastes delicious. Whoo, that tastes delicious. I know I said it was gonna be for this week, so I have to, you know, I can't drink it all today. <laughs> but I'm so excited. Alrighty, so I'm not gonna put this pulp back through because this pulp is dry. These plums are more dry than the nectarines. Um, and my plum juice also yielded a little bit over 16 ounces or about 20 ounces of juice. So I would say that the nectarines are more of a watery fruit compared to plums but they are both delicious. This fruit fly wants in on my drink, but he went away. <laughs> Alrighty. I also wanna try this one too. Let's see, so this is what it looks like. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes delicious. Oh my gosh. Ooh. That tastes so good. Alrighty, so from my findings, um, 10 nectarines yielded about a liter of juice and 10 plums yielded about 20 ounces of juice. So all good plans. I have a lot to clean up here, but thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I will see you next time. Okay, so while I'm cleaning up and before I go, I just want to encourage you guys to go outside, definitely get some sunlight, um, get you kind of maybe put your feet in the grass, hug a tree, just enjoy the times that we're in. I know that no matter what you're going through, it is so important for us to be grateful for every single thing that we have. And you never know what anyone else is going through, but know that things can always be worse. Definitely don't take anything for granted enjoy this realm enjoy this lifetime as much as you can uh whatever you believe in make sure that you are happy in every single thing that you do and i wish you love light peace i wish you health wealth abundance and always i wish you blessings Alrighty, all praises